Have you always wished you could date in a game? No. Have you fantasized about smashing a bro? What? Do you daydream about using science to determine which Smash Bro is the absolute hottest? Too many words. Probably not, but that's what this is. Smash Bros and Smosh Games, the two brands founded upon having too many characters on screen at one time. I'm Tommy Bo, certified video game dumbass. And while Smash Bros has their last minute DLC add-ons, Smosh Games has me. Today, I'm diving deep into the Smash Bros roster to answer the question everyone has told me is inappropriate. Which bro is the best Smash? I'll be running my qualified Smashlers through a checklist of sexy criteria based on science. These are scientific studies that polled women to find out what they found most attractive in men. What women? When was this? All good questions for someone who actually read the studies. Luckily for me, the results were all listed out in an article I found online. So yeah, uh, writing this was stupidly easy, but the editing is kind of going to suck, so sorry whoever's editing this. It's me. Using these findings, I've created a point system I call Smashability. Each character will get one point for each thing the ladies scientifically like. Men who don't smell like garlic, men who are wearing red, who have facial symmetry, look older, have a beard and are muscular, have a pet, and are confident. And uh, for garlic free, everyone gets a point except for Wario, cause literally fuck you Wario. But there's a second rating system that I'm throwing in. A thoroughly researched professional list of criteria that reflects the societal norms of human attraction in today's technological age. It's the fuck science, you sexy. The rating system. <laughs> Again, each character is getting one point per thingy. Does he have money so he can pay for my post-ironic trip to Olive Garden? Tall, dark, handsome, AKA Scorpio vibes. Dangerous, will his lifestyle make my parents hate him? Because if so, boy yo yoing, I'm in. Daddy, hot man make crotch go yeehaw? And daddy issues, because nothing makes a man more attractive than a strained relationship with his father. I like him sad. There's also a bonus point for whoever looks the most like 2019's sexiest man of the year. David Dobrik? Okay, so he was an honorable mention, but still that's, it's real dumb. David, no, I didn't mean it. We love you and want you in our videos, please. David. That means between science and personal preference, anyone can earn up to 14 points. So I have my rating system. And I have this one chance to prove myself on Smosh Games. Will I fail? I hope the fuck not. First off, everyone is not here. I'm taking all the women off the list. Why? Because it's 2020 and women have been objectified enough. Also, women are not my type. Gay. To guarantee a certain ad selling video website won't demonetize my paycheck, I'm doing this legally. That means any character that would be weird to call attractive is off the list. So just like my alcoholic aunt, this video should not have children. And then there's the teens who don't understand calling me discount Grant Gustin is not a compliment. Whoa, little Mac is that buff at 17? Hold on. Yeah, hi, how do I get buff? Effort? That's too bad. Uh, and that includes Link because according to every Google search result, he's 17. And if you're disappointed, you're going Nintendo directly to jail. That's a child. Then of course we have to put down the animals. I mean, eliminate the animals. Oh, and Bowser. So long, gay Bowser. See, it's in the law. Kissy animal on forehead, not the lippies. Pokemon may have really long phallic tummies, but they're still animals. We're getting rid of piranha plant because ouch. And we're eliminating aliens and robots before they eliminate us. Look who it is. It's all the Fire Emblem characters Frankenstein together. Why? Well, because they all look the same. Oh, okay, bye. And so I don't waste my time ranking all of these finalists. I've put them into a dating app I made called Not Tinder. Not Tinder, the app you can't sue me for. Okay, it's kind of cute. Yeah, I don't like Big Booze either. Uh, too flat. So uh, how are we liking this uh, Tinder montage, guys? You know, I hope you're taking time to pause, look at the graphics I made. I spent a little too much time on the graphics, if I do say so myself. Um, probably 
you know, eight, nine hours. Uh, well, that's that. And that leaves us with our Smashlers. Who will I choose to be my main? Who will 1v1 me three stock in the bedroom? Who will be by my side when I pass on to my final destination? Let's find out. He can spit fire, but dies when he touches a turtle, the most boring icon of all time. It's a him, Mario. Mario looks both 40 and 12 years old, but according to a Miyamoto interview from 2005, he's 25 years old. So he's garlic free, cause he's not Wario. He is the red guy. And of course he has facial symmetry. For looks older, I'd say he looks more baby. Light beard, no. And mustaches alone are gross. Blech. Mario has the muscle definition of a hot dog. Confident? I mean, yeah, he's got some cojones to call Bowser gay, so... I know, you're all thinking his pet is Yoshi. But if he really cared about Yoshi, he wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> you're wondering where Dr. Mario is? Here he is. I looped him into Mario because he's the only Echo Fighter that's literally another character. And look, if he's a doctor, he's got some student debt, and I already have too much of that. Tall Dark Handsome, that's a no-no and a no. Dangerous? Yes, because my mom would be pissed if my boyfriend crashed a moon wedding. Daddy, no, it's uh, it's more baby. And there is no mention of a dad in his lore, or Dr. Mario's lore. Let's tally up those points. And that leaves Mario's smashability at a five. Just like Trisha Paytas, he's constantly getting screwed by an old man, it's Luigi. Every time I Google it, I get a different answer, but Luigi's basically the same age as Mario. All right, since Luigi's basically long Mario, there's a few things we can blast through here. Obviously garlic free, he's not wearing red, he's got facial symmetry, he does not look older, ain't no beard on that face, he is not muscular, and for confidence, I would say an anthropomorphic pimple in middle school has more confidence than he does. Yeah. A pet, he does have a pet. It's the cutest and deadest one in gaming history. You know, the only thing Luigi has going for him is money, so good for him. Yeah, Luigi is none of the above, and he's actually quite short. Dangerous. This guy. Dangerous. Last time I checked, sticking your ass out isn't daddy energy. There's no dad in his lore, but he does have brother issues. Okay, let's see how our tiny dancer does. And that leaves our poor little boy with four smashability points. He makes basketballs look square. He's the Danny DeVito of Nintendo. It's Wario. According to this Nintendo Power Magazine comic from the 90s, Wario went to preschool with Mario, which makes him 25. Which is as shocking to me as it is to medical professionals. Wario's obvious points are facial symmetry and no beard. But when it comes to garlic free, we all know Wario doesn't get the point. I know it's controversial, but in this outfit, he has red. For looks older, I'm gonna give him a point, because he kinda looks like if Mario became an alcoholic. Yeah, he is muscular, and that really weirds me out. He apparently had a pet in Wario Land 2, a chicken named Hen, stupid name, but it hasn't been seen since, and I think I know why. You know those people who are a little too confident for what's going on? Look, if you have money, you're not desperate for more. Yeah, Wario's skeleton is not, not good. Dangerous? Yeah, he's a classic bad boy on that motorcycle. <clears throat> I hope everyone knows the difference between daddy and dad bod, all right? And following suit with everyone else so far, uh, no dad. And how does Mr. Midriff hold up to the competition? That brings Wario's smashability total to six out of 14. I showed him my moves and he said I was uncomfortable in my body. It's Captain Falcon. Age 36 years old in F-Zero X, Douglas J. Falcon D I'm sorry, his name is Doug? His name is Doug? Anyway, let's knock out all the obvious ones, yeah? I can't give him a point for facial symmetry because he's wearing a helmet, but let's just check under there. <gasps> Put it back! No beard. For all I know, he's completely hairless. Yeah, Doug is dummy thick. Dougie thick? Come on! He doesn't have a pet yet. He's a race car driver and a bounty hunter. That's two fat incomes. Maybe. <gasps> no, it's still the same. Yeah, those cars go faster than me sprinting to the bathroom after a cold brew. <laughs> Daddy, let's check. That's a yeehaw from downstairs. And there's no dad in the lore. Too bad. He could have been so smashable. All right, let's tally up those points. 
Dougie Falcon is coming in at 9 out of 14. He's a man bear pig, but bear in the gay way. It's Ganondorf. Ganondorf is apparently ageless, or whatever reincarnation means in Zelda games. He's garlic free, he's got facial symmetry, and he's certainly shaped like an adult. Lightbeard, I'm gonna give him a point because of his mutton chops that are also part of his eyebrows that are also part of his hair, which is red. Yeah, he's muscular. His abs could high rule my world. Oh my God, I wrote this script? Unless he's counting himself, no pet. He's balding and nosing, but there's still some about him. I don't know if he has money money, but as evil ruler of whatever, he can get me a room full of breadsticks. Tall, dark, handsome, yes. Dangerous, uh, yeah. And daddy, uh-huh. And again, no daddy issues. Uh, don't worry, there'll be some. Let's see how he do. And that's 11 points for Ganondorf. Ass so thick they had to nerf it. It's Snake. In Metal Gear Solid 1, Snake is 33 years old and has no eyes. We're just gonna scoot through all the obvious ones here, but take note, he is the first one with a real beard. Muscular, I mean, dead ass. Confident, I mean, dead ass. Sorry about that. Yes, he has a pet. It's a little pet wolf. Oh, jo -jo. Yeah, I don't know if he has money because everything else that sits in a box can't pay rent. He is by far the handsomest and darkest because he works at night. Other Metal Gear Solid characters have said that Snake actually likes killing, but it's just a job, right? Daddy, more like dad. His arch nemesis Big Boss is his actual dad. That's the ultimate daddy issue. Let's see how our handsome devil stacks up. That leaves Snake at 11 out of 14 points, which means he is tied with Ganondorf. Pac-Man, who we only know is a man because EA Sports, it's in his name. No one knows his age, but like non-voiceover me just said, he's not a boy, he's a man. Let's just walk a walk a walk our way through the obvious ones here. Looks older, I don't know what he looks like. A, a smooth lemon? Risking your life for fruit takes balls. One ball. Him. He doesn't have one, but as the ghost guy, he should just take Luigi's. White pellets aren't worth anything, Pac-Man. Wake up. Eh, small brighten around. He eats ghosts. Yeah, I don't need to see Pac-Man in a seductive pose to know he's not daddy. I said I don't need to see it. Who is Pac-Man's dad? Is it the void that created him? Torments him? Feeds him? That's hot. All right, let's see what he's got. That gives Pac-Man six out of 14 points. The winner of smallest head, 10 years in a row, it's Terry Bogard. In the original Fatal Fury, Terry is 35 years old, which in gay world makes him elderly. Really though, imagine if I went through all of these each time. This is why we're skipping ahead. Muscular, yes, he has every muscle except for a neck. Actually, yeah, Terry has a pet monkey, which is both niche and entirely illegal, like, I don't know, stealing snow globes? He's gotta be confident to have a ponytail. He apparently has a part-time job, not sure which one, but that's not gonna buy me mediocre pasta. I think what's throwing me off is the double scrunchie. My mom always told me never to trust a martial artist with no neck. Okay, but really, how long is this ponytail? When Terry was young, he watched his father get killed by a man named Geese. Let me say that again for you, Geese. Now that'll bruise the brain real good. Let's see how midlife crisis bodybuilder Ash Ketchum holds up. And that gives Terry nine out of 14 points. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the coveted David Dobrik point. The character that looks most like David Dobrik is... <laughs> but I'm realizing now that I'm a hypocrite. Who am I to rank these sexy, sexy cartoon characters without subjecting myself to the same criticism? So I'm gonna rank myself. Facial symmetry, no. Looks older, I hope so. Red, 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 uh, there it is. Yes. Muscles? No, and I am lonely because of it. Confidence, well. Right. 
Okay, it's not garlic, but it's not good. As long as this video goes well. Am I dangerous? No. <laughs> That's a big no from many people. You know what? Let's find out about this one. Hi, Dad. Hi, yeah, uh, what do you want? Yeah, um, I just wanted to say, yeah. I love you. Okay, great. You know, you really need to stop calling would me I, during the day. No, I mean, I, I love you. I just, I'm just saying it. It's just a fun... That gives me six points, which means I'm attractive as Wario. Uh, right, back to the video. We have a tie between Ganondorf and Snake at 11 points. To decide between Snake and Ganon, I'm following in our scientific studies footsteps by polling my coworkers. Basically, I wanna know whether you think Snake or Gandorf is more smashable. That's what you do while I'm writing? You do. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, let's go with Snake. I'm... Just to confirm, this is what you've been doing today? All day. This is what you've been doing all day today. Oh! Snake. I think Snake. Well, I definitely think Snake is the most smashable because I don't like that. And so the, there was another tiebreaker that I'm gonna need an opinion on. Um, uh, what, oh. which out of these, Oh. who do you, Tommy. you know, if you, if you wanna, I mean, he's kind of fun, He's right? fun, no, he is fun, but so, this is about smashability? Yeah. It's gonna have yeah. to be Wario, yeah. I'm right here, I'm right here in yeah, front yeah. of you, yeah. Um, I'm gonna, s I'm gonna say Wario. You're gonna? I'm gonna say Wario. You're here. gonna? I don't wanna hurt your feelings. By choosing, me over Wario, and then I'm like, oh, but Wario could be cooler. No, 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 I, I don't want to hurt your feelings, because I'm definitely going to go with uh, Wario. I'm sorry. Well, Keith, this has been ex exciting for me. I'll take both of these. Hey, uh, thanks for coming to the emergency meeting that I called just now. Um, I have a result from the video I've been doing. The winner of the most smashable Smash Bro is Snake. Is that cool? That's what you brought us in here for? This has been a big waste the... of all of our time and this your time. This is company time. I, I, I don't know it's company re... money that you're I don't, wasting. I don't, know I don't know what's under the parka of the ice climbers, but I want to see it. Just also a side note, yeah. I just, like, I don't think a day goes by where I don't think Wario's hotter than Tommy. What does Wario have that I don't have? What like confidence? Motorcycle. Okay. He looks good he drives in a motorcycle. He a, a, a good job, a secure job, which you probably don't have right now because you're just right now. Right now, right now. He has buddy. confidence. He's Why is Wario hotter than me? That doesn't. I'm not a basketball player. I'm sorry, Tommy. This is the dumbest. This is the dumbest thing. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Hope you liked it. YouTube is gonna recommend one of these videos on screen, and then the other one is something we recommend. So go ahead and keep watching Smosh Games content. I'm so happy. Everything's great. Everything is great. Right. I don't want to be here. Samus can get it. Zelda can get it.